Joining us tonight is one of the country's leading journalists, Kimberly Strassel, a member of the editorial board of the Wall Street Journal. And uh, Kimberly, great to have you with us. I, I, I just want to. Uh, how are you doing? I, I'm, I'm watching uh, Ocasio-Cortez, and I'm thinking if she can be the face of the Democratic Party, people should probably send in uh, money to, uh, to assure she stays in that role. What do you think? Well, think about what we just heard, Lou. We got GDP numbers this morning, 4.1 percent right. for the second quarter, which if we keep that up, we're on track to have 3 percent annualized growth something we've not had in more than a decade, something that President Obama said was impossible to have happen again. Mm -hmm. And yet you listen to this faction of the Democratic Party, the ascendant faction, I would note, uh, and not only do they want to reverse everything that has got us to that position, make individuals pay higher taxes, saddle corporate America with one of the worst tax rates in the world again, but in addition, from that clip you played, she also wants a new tax, a carbon tax on right. top of it. Right. And I don't know if these people are living in another planet where things aren't getting better or if they honestly just don't care about the fate of the average American. Yeah, it, it is a struggle. And Bernie Sanders, I, I will say this for Ocasio-Cortez, at least she's thought about the fact that there will have to be a, a reckoning, a some system of payment here uh, and, and revenue. Uh, Bernie Sanders was absolutely, <laughs> he simply dismissed that part of the equation. Uh, and, and the Republicans, they're running on prosperity this year and, and Trump, Trump's prosperity. Uh, and I, as I look at these numbers, they're so impressive. And the Dems are talking, just as Hillary Clinton did, higher taxes. Uh, we've got the socialist program where everything is free. And the Republicans have 42 open seats and a lame duck speaker who seems held, you know, just absolutely determined to, to, uh, to defeat uh, as many of those 42 as possible and turn over the House to, to the Dems. Well, look, if you dig into those numbers, one of the most encouraging things mm -hmm. is that a lot of it was really driven by consumer spending, consumer confidence. That means Americans are feeling good. Right. If the Republicans can grab onto that message and really ride it, if they can maybe do a little bit more incremental tax reform, for instance, uh, get a Supreme Court nominee confirmed and seated, which is going to change the balance of the court for a generation, They've got as good a message as you can get going into this. It's still going to be tough, no matter what, because they've got a lot of seats up in the House. And because you've had interference, for instance, in Pennsylvania, you've got a couple of those seats that simply have been given to Democrats right. because of the way their state Supreme Court ruled. Um, and that makes it hard for them to hold on. But I think they're headed into a, a midterm with a better message than anybody could have expected. And McCaskill uh, in, in Missouri. Uh, you've written about her uh, her issues, uh, but she is uh, she's pursuing a scorched earth policy as far as uh, prevailing against the attorney general, the Republican uh, attorney general. Uh, there, uh, what do you what do you think uh, will be the outcome? Well, you know what's happening in Missouri and McCaskill is what you see happening in these Senate races everywhere. Precisely for the reasons we just said, Republicans have a good message. Democrats are struggling. They don't really have an issue to run on. And so they're doing what they do best, which is personal attacks. And her bigger problem is that the man she's likely to run against, the Attorney General Josh Hawley, he's relatively new to politics. He doesn't have any skeletons in his closet, much to beat him up on. So instead, she's going after one of his donors, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a private citizen who is just expressing First Amendment right views. Um, and it, it is a real scorched earth policy. I don't think it's going to help her in the end. Well, Kimberly, it's always good to have you here. Come back soon. We appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you, Lou. Kimberly Strassel of the Wall Street Journal.